but like you know thought-provoking type of would you rather thought-provoking type would you rather all right first one is would you rather be made publicly foolish or made publicly untrustworthy foolish i'd rather be a fool darling ever since i was a kid i was the class clown yeah i feel like your type of humor is like um you kind of like make a fool of yourself and then make people laugh i think sometimes i'm like that too yeah i prefer because i've had the situation where people like don't believe me don't trust me or like like i i i said something that made everybody mad and it's just like feeling like it's an outcast. It's hard to take it back, right? Like, it, yeah, it's, it's hard to, like, fix that. But, like, no. foolish foolish doesn't really mean you can't trust them, you know? Exactly. Losing someone's trust, now that's, like, something it's, like, hard Yeah, you're to... losing, like, relationships. So you're choosing between, like, your image and your the quality of your relationships. Exactly. So, yeah, public foolish, I think that's for me, too. Next question, everybody. Would you rather lose the ability to speak or lose the ability to use your hands? I would lose the ability to speak. Speak. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, because I don't speak much anyways. <laughs> and that, th- and and that- here you are with a podcast. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to speak anyways. Like, that would be a reason not to speak. <laughs> and it's like, all I got to do is... People will just text me, you know, I don't have to call. I don't have to take calls because, hey, (laughs) just text me because I can't speak, you know. Next question. Would you rather have your friend disown you or have your family know all your secrets? I'll have a friend disown me. But I mean, which friend, though? You know what I mean? (laughs) JK. Wait. (laughs) Jokes. Jokes. That's not my serious. Uh, I don't what know. What does own you really mean? Like, I had friends that disown me already. So it's like, can I just have like some of those friends as those disowned friends? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I feel like I can yeah. make more friends. Uh, but having my family know my secrets, like there's some stuff that even I don't know, you know, or I want to forget completely. So I don't know about you. I, I think my mom is a pretty confronting person, but the rest of us, not really. Like, we were just talking about it. Like, us sisters, when we fight, we just become passive-aggressive and we don't talk. And then, we, and then after a while, we just... <laughs> just laugh. I know yeah. exactly what I mean. That Like, that's that's exactly what I mean. Like, with my family, too, like, we would just, out of nowhere, become okay. And let's yeah. not talk about it. Okay. I think I know my. I think I would choose the latter. Like family, know your secrets because, because I think, uh, as fa- or at least I have confidence in my family that even if they know my secrets, they wouldn't like disconnect my relationship with them. But for friends to disown you, you lose a person. But for a family to know my secret, I don't really lose anyone. Instead, it's possible that I get closer to them. But actually, it could also turn the other way. I don't know. I'm confident in- enough in my family that they wouldn't disown me after knowing my secrets it's just a very hard question and like uh because you know it's like which friend are you talking about you know and like do can i choose the friend because there are like that's what i mean like i've had friends that disown me or yeah. there are friends yeah, that yeah, yeah. i call my friend but really like we don't we don't we we're not in contact in a long time you know it's like but with my family family is like the type of thing that's like kind of for life and yeah, I just don't want. Yeah, I just don't want it to go like a little bit. But yeah, you're right. This is a very hard question. Yeah. <laughs> very thought provoking. Would you rather go out to dinner or go to a concert? I would go dinner. out to dinner. Yeah, <laughs> have food all the way, and food in the concerts like it's expensive and it's not even good. So. Yeah. Would you rather eat alone for the rest of your life or always be hungry? I could eat alone for the rest of my life, honestly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, why would I just be always hungry? That's so crazy. What kind of question is this? Wait, wait, yeah. Does always hungry meaning you're going to die of hunger? Or does it mean you're always going to feel hungry even if you eat? You know? That's crazy. I'll be ridiculously <laughs> fat. 
But yeah, I'd rather eat alone. I mean, yeah, I don't I mind eating alone. alone. I I yeah. really don't mind eating alone because you, you don't get... grow up, you kind of get used to it. I know it's like a big thing, like as teenagers, but now now it's like it's fine. When I was young, I I always ate alone, and people always at like oh, okay. go like, oh, you would eat alone like for for lunch. I'm like, yeah, because I don't have to think about what to eat. You know, like what the other person might like to eat, because I would just choose whatever I want to eat, like or whatever that is easier. Yeah. And it's just people who like freak out about that. It's probably just a fear of being alone, and it's that's not a good sign. It's, it's not a good Go sign to yourself, my friend. <laughs> that's true. It's true. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather be stripped of everything you own or fall terminally ill with cancer? This is a very dark question. Wait, what does that include? Own. <laughs> I know that's what like I material mean. Material things, right? Material if just things. material things, not even money, just material things. No, but money is material things. So I'll just be broke and be homeless. It's like yeah, with nothing. Just. So to trade for not having cancer, <laughs> it's so so bad. <laughs> okay, wait. Um, I think I would be stripped of everything because it's yeah, like, uh, yeah, because it's just like, hey, Tyler can uh, afford to keep me wealthy. I mean, keep me like. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, like I guess that's that's true too. I think yeah, I think because the first one you could you could have the opportunity to gain it back. But the second one, you that really. it's like, hey, you have to pay for the cancer treatment. So still at the same time, it's going to be stripping you everything. So, <laughs> oh, uh, boom. <laughs> would you rather live uh, where it's always dark or always light? I would live always light. Yeah. I like always light. Like when when the weather is becoming like, you know, where daytime is so much shorter and the nighttime is so much longer i may i'm like depressed by it i don't know why like naturally yeah, that i understand but i also can't sleep when it's bright like i can't I get feel like shutters nice... <laughs> you said light right yeah oh I and you light. yeah you yeah. wanted like because you were like relaxing and blah 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 Fair enough. I do like it when it's rainy. Like, and that makes me feel so cozy in bed. Would you rather make a million dollars or make a rocket? I'll make a million dollars, please. Thanks. Yeah. Same. I don't even know what to do with a rocket. rocket. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to the moon. I mean, you. I get it. Like, you'd be so rich you have a rocket. But it's like, what am I going to do with the rocket? And then the NASA people will probably go come get it or something and ask me to pay taxes or whatever. <laughs> Would you rather be the person to survive cancer or the person to be famous? famous yeah i'd be famous just because i don't i want to avoid cancer at all costs please <laughs> yeah i don't know why there's so many cancers i know i love how these this question this site is called icebreaker questions and it's like would you rather like <laughs> have cancer or <laughs> or tell tell your family your deep and darkest secrets <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> these are all right well questions cool cool cool